What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021. In today's video we're focusing on a player by the name of Grady Jarrett. He's number 54 on the list. He's a defensive end and he plays for the Atlanta Falcons. So without further ado it's time we get into the video but first a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor for today NordVPN. Sup guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by none other than these guys, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. Why might you want or need a VPN? You can mask your location and browse in complete privacy. It hides your IP address, so depending on what your profession is, you can't get traced or tracked. With the ability to connect to servers all over the world, you'll never be geo-restricted again. If you're in New Zealand, like me, you can watch US TV shows and vice versa. If you're in the States, you can even watch good old Kiwiana. But not only that, Netflix, YouTube, live sports events, and social media networks. Whatever it is, whatever the country, you can access it. You can bypass annoying cookies and escape ad campaigns that won't leave you alone. The technology works by creating a network tunnel each and every time you surf the web, securing the data sent between you and your destination. They have a complete range of plans from one month to two years, whatever suits. They've always got new promotions running. At the moment, a two-year plan at 69% off works out to be $3.67 per month. That's just over 10 cents per day, guys. Go down into the description box below, click the link, check them out, support the channel. Happy days. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the video. And now that the formalities are over with, we continue with Grady Jarrett. He's a big man. Well, I'm going to say he's probably about 300 pounds, or at least looks it. He's, uh, he's a big man with uh, big legs and uh, a big number, actually. He's number 97, Grady Jarrett. Let's check him out. His nickname is You Shall Not Pass. Why, you ask? Oh, oh my bad. Right? <laughs> I, I tell you what, on a bad day, he'd probably get fined for that. My fault. Now <laughs> is that <laughs> is that the ref I hear? Oh, oh my bad. That's, that's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I love the energy. Not only does he take the contact, but he's really amped up. You ask? Oh, 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 shit. What are you doing, Grady? My bad. That's, that's all my fault. Now Stutter Steps, plenty of time, Jarrett wraps him up, you shall not pass. Well that's a head high in the game of rugby. No such rules in the game of American football, apart from targeting and pulling on the face mask. But as far as everything else, well anything goes. Man, he's up there at the top with Aaron Donald. Him and Aaron Donald, he could put right there. Together, both super disruptive, both live in the backfield. Grady has a great get up and play behind the line of scrimmage. That was not the right choice. Grady Jarrett was right there. Steps to the left and he's wrapped up and sacked by Grady Jarrett. You shall not pass. I love his. He likes Russell Wilson, doesn't he? Tenacity to the ball, his uh, relentless pass rush. Here's Brady Playfake, gonna throw it, and sack! There's exactly what you needed. He's a smaller guy, but my boy got some explosiveness. A smaller guy for a defensive end. Well, just how small? Actually, I'm not gonna lie, he is undersized as far as height is concerned, but certainly not weight. He's listed as six foot even. 300 pounds. Well, 305. Got picked up in the fifth round of the 2015 draft from Clemson straight to Atlanta, straight to the Falcons, and he's been there ever since. He has really come into his own in the last couple of years, making the last two Pro Bowls. You know what? I'm gonna call him I'm gonna call him six foot one. He's listed as one eight five. And that was measured at the NFL Combine. I'm 185, and I'd say six foot one. So there you go. Six one, three hundred and four pounds, five zero six for the forty yard dash. Uh, 31 inches in vertical, 9 foot 5 on the broad jump, 33 goddamn reps in the bench press, and um, a hand size of 10 inches. So what he lacks in height for his position, he certainly makes up for in both weight, strength, speed, and hand size. He's played 93 total games in the NFL, 300 combined tackles, 160 solo, and 140 assisted. 
Now that is an interesting ratio, if nothing else. It's quite quite close as far as solo versus assisted. I haven't really seen it that close before. Anyway, 25.5 sacks, 51 tackles for loss, 5 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. And a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, Jarrett's home in Conyers, Georgia, partially burned down during the second day of the 2015 NFL Draft. And seeing as he was picked round number 5, the second day would be rounds 2 and 3. So during the draft, prior to him actually getting picked up by a team, his house burnt down. There were nearly 50 people, including friends and family members, at the home at the time of the fire. No injuries were reported, but the cause of the fire was believed to be electrical. The Atlanta Falcons drafted Jarrett the next day and immediately sent him Atlanta Falcons gear. And that, my friends, just adds to the story. Height doesn't determine success in the trenches. Blowing up plays in the backfield does. Actually, when you think about it, Grady has been compared to Aaron Donald, and Aaron Donald is around about 286-1 in the defensive end position, so similar. Connor Williams just got introduced to Conyers, Georgia. You shall not pass, cuts across his face, no place to go. Well, I say similar, but no one's comparing to Aaron Donald, let's be honest. The things that he was doing uh, in the run defense, and also as a pass rusher, it was just amazing for a guy to be 300 pounds moving like that. They're trying to set up a three count screen to his side. Grady smelled it out wow. all the way. Boy, he was right there, Johnny in the spot. He's short and compact, super strong. You got to be on your A game as far as bending and trying to win the hat under hat game. I'll tell you what, a defensive end that's six foot four, a little bit taller, a little bit wider, might not have snuck through that gap. Let's have a look. You got to be on your A game. Have a look at that. The low center of gravity is the only reason he's made it through these two offensive linemen. That's why I've been in trying to win the hat under hat game. And not only that, that but he stays it. he stays within reach of the running back and gets an assisted tackle. Double team and then blew up the player that was supposed to be pulling to get in front of Lindsay. His number of sacks dropped in 2020, but his defensive contribution is at an all-time high. Yeah, that's not nice. That is not nice, having Grady Jarrett trying to sack your ass. Last year, he became the captain. Grady Jarrett's just gotten better and better. He's just gotten better and better. Locked under pressure. Throwing over the middle, intercepted it. Okay. Oh. That's Grady Jarrett again applying the initial pressure. Everybody feeds off. And his game is going to continue to keep evolving. Forced to. Sky's the limit for a guy like that. Forced an interception. Well, actually, they're both monsters. So his brother and I, we were roommates in college. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward to this one. Justin Jefferson, another rookie, 1,400 receiving yards for the year. What an absolute legend! But this video is about Grady Jarrett, and um, I did just hear at the end of that video that he's he's getting better and better, right? And that's exactly what's happened, seeing as he's you know finally made made the Pro Bowl uh, two years in a row. We saw a fair few tackles, uh, 300 in fact. In fact, he got 52 last year, bringing his total to 300, which we uh, confirmed before. Yes, his sack numbers are down, but not too far. And uh, with all that being said, that brings us to the end of another video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to let us know what your thoughts are on Grady Jarrett, how you think he's going to perform during this season, definitely let us know in the comments section below. And uh, hey... By all means, head down to the description box and check out our exclusive video sponsor for today. All of that supports the channel, all of that supports future content creation because uh, look, at the end of the day you don't get much in return for this, this is for fun and to entertain you guys. That's why we do it. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.